as uh, in this tutorial uh, we will learn uh, how to work with acf relationship i mean the uh, advanced custom fit relationship so in our uh, services page here we already built uh, now we can manage these sections using advanced custom fit relationship actually for the services page we can um, we can use a uh, custom post type to manage the services page actually but we can uh, use also ICF relationship so in this tutorial we will uh, learn how to use advanced custom field um, relationship so this is our services okay so this services already we created uh, here uh, this is our custom post type services it's already created but uh, we will manage this uh, section without a custom queries without a custom post type queries we can use advanced custom field relationship so how we can use it so let's go to the services backend so edit the page here so once you edit the page you can see the this is our services page backend now we need to create an advanced custom field relationship in uh, in our services page backend so how we can do that so let's go to advanced custom field options and click add new option so once you click on add new option you can redirect it to uh, advanced custom field group here so we will create a new group called services section okay and uh, underneath you can see uh, add fill button just click on it and just type services you can add like uh, all services like this and field name whatever field name should be unique always and uh, field type should be uh, SEF relationship you can see this one okay uh, relational I can see relationship we need to choose a uh, relationship so once you choose relationship you can see uh, filter by post type you can uh, see the options so we need to just choose the award services option and taxonomy we no, no need to choose anything actually here so just uh, we can add a search you can select a search um, checkbox and that's it just and we need to choose a template or yeah, page name page is for our uh, services so this one is services page now publish the uh, advanced custom field option so now it has been published now go to our services page backend and just refresh this page so i'm reloading this page so now you can see uh, services section relationship has been created on the services page backend so now we can choose uh, this uh, this is our uh, actually these are our all services already uh, added in the custom post type area okay so these are our post type area and uh, all these uh, services are listed over there so we need to ch choose one by one okay like this just click on it we also um, rearrange something like this something like this something like this we also rearrange the post as well whatever our need we can easily reorder the post so once it's done just publish services page so now it has been updated so now we need to custom code in our services page so this is our services page uh, this is our custom HTML for services area I mean this area this area now we need to get it done using custom code through advanced custom build relationship so backend has been already ready now we are going to add a custom code so how we can do that it's very simple and easy just go to Google and type SEF relationship SEF relationship just type and click on first option for advanced custom fields website so you can see uh, 
we are so this is our uh, advanced custom field relationship uh, area and just we need to copy this code first okay just copy this code Uh, this is our advanced custom trade um, uh, website and uh, we can um, select uh, now this is uh, our advanced custom field uh, relationship um, option and now we can we can take the code from here just copy this code this is above the loop just copy this code and go to your PHP file and you can see there are multiple divs uh, which is repeating so we need to keep only one div which is repeating so just remove this one uh, remove this one just remove and remove this one also needs to be removed now the only one div this one is going to repeat it right so above the div just paste a custom code we can remove this as well we can remove it well and now the get field option we need to add our custom field options uh, for services that we already created now uh, in custom field option so this is for all services and this uh, this is the name just copy this uh, and go to the php file and paste it over there and we need to uh, end the loop go to the ICF relationship website and just copy this code copy and go to PHP file and paste it over there so this is our main div loop is uh, uh, this uh, this is a loop above the div and this is the end loop uh, below the div so we need to remove that this we can remove this one as well now uh, our custom code has been ready so we are going to add custom code uh, this is for a title so collecting the title we will add the title function uh, wordpress default function this is php the title and in the href this should be connect to, connected to each of page so in that case there is a function called the parmalin so here we go php the parma link. now this is connected to each page so once user click on any button they will redirect it to so let's uh, uh, refresh this page uh, it's updated let's refresh this page i'm reloading this page so now you can see all the services has been uh, appeared over there oh i am getting some issues oh, there is something wrong oh we need to remove this just save save the file and again go to the uh, front end file services reload the page so now it's reloaded and all the services has been listed and each of every services has been connected to this button like so once user click on it uh, they will redirect it to respective services details page. so using this method we can easily um, dynamic uh, services page using advanced custom field relationship okay that's it thank you